morning morning welcome 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 Terry Ann Hyman here we're doing the energy focus for the week this morning I was very delayed last night but such an important week that I wanted to jump on this morning and share what's going on in the cosmos and what we can do energetically to help us through this week Lots going on. So come on in and join me. It'll be a little quicker today, but wanted to share some of the really major things going on and help you kind of focus in and harness that energy for yourself as you move through this week. So join me. I'm here on Facebook and Instagram. Welcome everyone. This is part of my energy focus. This is part of my live stream for my Empowered Spirit Show, which you can find on all your favorite podcasts. All right, so we're doing a little live today to help us focus in on the energy. So come on in, share, let me know if you have any questions as we let this catch up in the broadcasting area. Lots going on this week, lots of crazy weather, which is matching the cosmos. I really send out lots of heartfelt energy and healing to all those in Southern Alabama that really did get caught up with that energy of the tornadoes, all right? I was actually flying, got rerouted, wasn't able to get back here, which is kind of what was going on for me as well. So I hope that you are okay wherever you are, and I hope that you can understand we never know what's going to happen. So we always have to trust and be grateful for all the many things that are going on around us. All right, I'm just going to share this out. I'm going to share this in my group Powered Spirit Circle, and if you're not in the circle, come on in and join me because I'm actually going to be doing some, i um, going to be doing a new moon manifesting. We have a really big new moon coming up, which is really, really important. So please join, come in, invite your friends in Powered Spirit Circle on Facebook. I'm also going to be doing some Akashic Clearings in the beginning, um, kind of towards spring and if only in the group. So hopefully you will be able to do that as well. All right, I'm having a little trouble here. Let me get back to where I was. All right, here we go. So thank you for joining me this morning. So the thing that we really want to focus on, oops, I think I lost my connection here. The thing that we really want to focus on today, tomorrow is dark of the moon energy. We really want to be able to focus in and understand what that means for us. So dark of the moon always happens right before the um, new moon comes in. So important that we let go. We recognize this energy. We understand that this is sometimes where we can get pulled down into feeling a little bit of that depression of that little bit of lack, that little bit of limited belief energy during the dark of the moon. So really just taking the time to slow down, to honor that within you. And whenever I, whenever we kind of bring up those shadows in us, we shine a little light on it and we can feel better. We can honor what it is. It's when we stuff it down. It's when we hold on to it. When we feel shameful about it, that really starts to spiral down and can really contribute even more to what's going on in within you. So as you move through these two days, today and tomorrow, it's not really a time to get anything done. Just continue what you're doing. But what we are finding and what we are showing is that it is a time to go deeper within. Go deeper within your own spirit. This is a great time to do this because this new moon comes in on Wednesday and it's in Pisces. So that is really a way to connect with your intuitive self, with your spirituality and really go deep. Now we've been in winter. We're starting to come out of winter. Winter is all about trying to understand your dreams, your visions, what do you want to do this year? What are you bringing in? And that's what's really important now because we're starting to wake up. We're starting to come out of this energy. So Pisces energy is going to help you to access what is your spirit calling you to do? What is it that you're asked to be doing? What are you living? Are you on track? Are you not? Are you feeling good about yourself? Are you caught in the chatter of the mind? So this is the energy that we really want to open up to today and tomorrow. It's just kind of let it go. Release it out. Honor those parts. Do a little tapping. All right. The tapping summit's been on. Do a little tapping. That can help move that energy out. Write it down. Burn it away. Because when we come into Wednesday, Wednesday is the new moon, and it's a really big new moon this time. In Pisces, we've got some Uranus energy coming in. That is going to shake us all up. That is going to help you to open up, get out of your comfort zone, release the old habits, because many of us get stuck in that, especially in the winter, all right? I know there's a big snowstorm on the East Coast. Down here, we got a lot of rain. 
that west, I mean, it's crazy the weather and it keeps us kind of stuck and withdrawn. So we really want to begin to release that. So as that new moon comes in, we can open up even more to what it is. All right. We're still in winter, but really that Pisces energy can help you to understand more about your spirit, more about what's guiding you. Are you living your truth? Are you hanging out on the surface level of the mind and not really doing what you want to do? So all of that energy is coming forward for us as we move through this week. Now, when we get into Wednesday, Wednesday's a new moon. Like I said, I'll be doing a meditation in the group Wednesday at 12 noon. So join me in the Powered Spirit Circle just for the group to help us manifest, all right? Because it is a good time to go deep into your spirit to open up to what those dreams are for you. And as we start to... Like if you imagine like what's going on underneath the surface right now, especially down here in the south, I don't know where you live, but where we are, like this, the sprouts are coming up, the seeds are starting to bloom, and that's what we want to do. We start to start to open up to those things that we have going forward, and then as spring comes around, we're ever gonna, we're really gonna be able to start planting them and living those purposes that we want. All right, now we also have Mercury retrograde coming in. All right, I know everybody kind of flips out with Mercury retrograde going in. Now the thing that I really like about this one, because it's in Pisces is it's really calling you again deep into your spirit. Really is. I mean, that spiritual work is what is really, really important right now. Right? We can live on the surface of the mind. We can go out there. We can look for all the things we want out there. But really, it's pulling it in within you. What is firing you? What are you opening up to? What is your spirit calling you to do? Make some changes. Release some habits. Let go of the addictions. That we do with the spiritual work within us. All right. Yes, we can get help out there, but it really has to be from within your own spirit that you choose that. So that Mercury retrograde energy, of course, we're going to have the confusion, communication, traffic, all of that stuff. I had a little bit of it last night being rerouted a couple hours, which should have been only an hour in air traffic. But hey, I made it home safe. So sometimes we have to just kind of go with the flow, which is exactly what this energy is about right now. Go with the flow. Don't hold on too tight. Let go of your habits so that you can follow that energy. And as we manifest, which we'll talk about on Wednesday in the group, as you manifest, it really is right now about letting go of the control. Trust. We've been talking about that, talking about that this whole last few weeks. Trust is really important right now because that Uranus energy is coming in. Uranus is known to shake things up. It's expansive. So that is coming in. I believe that comes in right at the new moon as well, which means unexpected energy. Where can you expand? What can you let go of and just really take a chance and open up? So we have that energy I think it's pretty exciting, especially if you're like working on letting go of the old stuff and you're ready to step up to that new energy. You're ready to step up into the intentions for your life, perhaps that you set at the new year. And even if you set intentions at the new year, Wednesday is a good day to reiterate those. Go back and look at them. Bring them forward. Shift that energy around. So that's going to be really, really important. And so... We can feel as Wednesday, Thursday comes in that we're on a little bit of a roller coaster. We want to go forward, the retrograde in. So we're going to feel a little bit of this back and forth, which is, again, why it is so important that you come into your spirit. It really is that you focus in, pull the energy in, meditate, tap. Run some Reiki. Do some of those tools. There's so many out there. There's really no excuse. And as I always talk about, five minutes, even just five minutes a day can make a difference for you. It really can. It's how you set up your day. Do you start by jumping on Facebook, social media, or do you kind of let yourself wake up to a more peaceful way? Do you come peaceful way? Do you come into your breath? Can you set your intentions for starting over each and every day, are you bringing all of that baggage or all that garbage or all that, whatever you want to call it, from the week before into, again, starting? I know Mondays can be hard, but when we choose to start with a fresh outlook, that is what is really important. All right, so that new moon in, in Pisces comes in on Wednesday, really powerful time. And actually, I found very exciting in Vedic astrology. They're talking about this is an area very auspicious, an a star, area of the stars that is known to be transformation. According to Vedic astrology, I'm quoting here, this new moon is on the edge of an important shift in consciousness and marks a powerful turning point for those who seek truth and clarity. It will be in the area of the sky called the Purab. Bhagdrapadra. I don't know how to say that, but it's the star of fire that elevates consciousness. It's symbolized, it's a little strange, but it actually shows in the cards I chose that came up for today or yesterday when I chose them, but it's symbolized by a coffin as it carries a body to the cremation grounds. It's the card of death, rebirth, and the power to see beyond life's illusions. All right, so I know whenever we talk about the death or the rebirth, we get a little bit weirded out, but really... 
Cleanse the soul. Open up to what it is that you want to see and rebirth that part of you. All right. Sometimes we get so stuck in our habits. We wonder like, how can I start again? Everybody thinks of me this way. Here's your opportunity. Here is your opportunity to start again, to refresh your spirit, to go deeper, even deeper as you open up to that energy. So I really think it's important this week, cut the excess energy, send it back to whoever it belongs to. Yes, there are tools you can use. And in fact, on the Empowered Spirit Show this week, it dropped on Saturday, I talk about tools, tools for empathic energy, tools to protect yourself, protection tools for the empath. Really important that you have these tools. And I know it may seem silly, like, oh, I'm making this up, but man, it works. We can control our energy. We can be a master to our energy and open up to these tools that are really, really important. So check out the Empowered Spirit Show. You can find it on all your favorite podcasts. You have a smartphone. I just posted back that. Just ask your smartphone to play the podcast Empowered Spirit Show and it'll come up for you. But it's some really good tools and a nice meditation as well that can help you today and tomorrow especially, but moving forward as well. So clearing out that excess energy this week is really important. Opening up to the new moon on Wednesday, knowing that we're in for a little turbulent ride. Thursday, Friday, as you move into the weekend, we have some Aries energy coming in towards the end of the weekend, towards the weekend, into the week, that's going to help you then move a little bit forward. But know that we are coming into this Mercury retrograde, and it is okay. Don't get weirded out. Just take the time to renew, review, refresh your energy as you do so. So lots of great things coming up this week. Knowing the energy is going to be a little bit up and down, all around, will help you to stay centered and grounded to focus your energy as you move through. All right, so let's just take a moment and let's do a meditation. I'd like to do a meditation that's going to help you to release out any of those excess energy and that excess feeling, that limits of beliefs, the darkness that the dark of the moon can bring in for you. All right, so wherever you are, if you can, just take a moment. Exhale away. Inhaling. Calling back your energy, centering the energy for this week, calling it all in as you exhale away, taking a moment here, inhaling and exhaling, inhaling, bringing that breath up the spine and exhale, pulling it back down deep into the earth. Feel your feet on the floor as we ground our energy and we call in our higher self. Inhaling and exhaling. Pulling that energy all the way down, aligning the spiritual body right on top of the physical body. Feel that alignment coming in. Feel yourself grounding with Mother Earth. As we go to anchor in the directions, here in the medicine where we sit in the direction of the north for the season of winter, as we began to awaken We began to bring our dreams forward and honor this time to the north, the east, the south and the west, above us, below us, right into the very center, opening up, calling in your spirit, right into the very center, setting your intention as you move through this week, especially these next couple of days, to release the excess energy, to shine light on the darkness. And know that as you do, you can open up to that. Taking a nice deep inhale, bring that breath up the body. Hold it for a moment, 10 counts. And exhale, send it back down. Hold it for another 10 counts. Clearing away, inhaling. Hold. Exhaling. Hold one more, inhaling. Hold, exhaling, hold. Now just staying in that really deep feeling, allow yourself to bring to the surface whatever it is that's not serving you. Maybe it's a darkness, maybe it's an addiction, maybe it's a habit you've caught yourself in, maybe it's just the chatter of the mind. And imagine all that energy coming forward, turn it a bright red. And we just bring in the healing guides to release that energy, to burn it away, Let it go. Feel it just dissolving away. And just saying to yourself, you can even tap right here. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for showing up. Can even offer the whole poem. I forgive myself. I forgive you. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. I'm sorry. 
Sorry, I forgive myself for these thoughts, these feelings, these addictions, whatever it may be for you. Thank you for showing up. I love you. I love you. I love you. Take a moment. Letting go of the energy. Coming back. Feeling the quiet. Feeling the center energy coming forward. Inhaling. And exhaling. Nice. So this 10 count breathing, I didn't quite go through the whole thing, but it is on the podcast. It's a great clearing breath to clear out the energy from before. And the Hopo Pono is an amazing technique that I work with in my pro in my programs. It can help to release that energy for you. So as we look at the cards, all right, if you didn't choose a card, one, two, or three, choose from the wild unknown. That's what we're doing. So the card for all of us, the universal theme for this week is the Emperor card. Now, I love this card because I feel like it aligns with that energy of the Chiron coming forward and moving into Aries. The Emperor is somebody that really, he's done his work. Like he, he didn't just get there automatically. He knows what it takes to do that. And he uses that energy of the sun to harness, to be strong, to grow tall. And that's what we need to do right now. So perhaps you've had some wounds from the past year. Perhaps you've had some healing that needs to be done. Now's the time to say, what did I learn from it? And how can you stand tall to help you put that energy out there in a more powerful way? So this is a great card for all of us. This really does align with the cosmic forces of that Chiron energy moving forward. So where is it showing up for you? How can you stand up to that? And that's where we're going to look through the questions, the cards of one, two, or three. If you chose the first card, love this, a major arcana. It's the world, all right? And this just reminds you that you are totally, totally protected by the universe. Look at all the layers around here. Right in there is your spirit. Then we have the flowers and the trees. And then we have the animal kingdom, the star kingdom. We have everything we need. And you are at that very center of that. So when you feel lost or alone or afraid, don't forget that you are protected. Touch the earth. Be in alignment with the earth. And as you feel that connection... That is how you're going to open up to live that stronger part of who you are. We are all connected. The universe has your back, as Gabby says. Feel that energy all around you. Feel that orb of energy come in. You are in control of your energy. Be a master to it. All right, if you chose card number three, this is a great card for all of us as well, the Three of Pentacles. All right, so the Three of Pentacles has kind of got this three here connection. Threes are about... Like, take a step back. Look at what you've got building. This is in our pentacles, so this is in our work. It matches the energy of the pyramid. I mean, of the mountains. One, two, three points, the taller one in the middle, and then the reverse energy here. So this also reminds us, again, we're not alone. Find your resources. Reach out. Connect to everybody else as you really examine where you are right now. This is a great card to remind you that you don't have to do this alone. Or you don't have to try to move that mountain. Work with the energy around you and work with those around you and keep building in the physical plane the work that you're doing. All right? As then you stand up and get out there even stronger. Now, the third card goes in alignment with what we were talking about, the Vedic Astrology, is our death card. All right? So I don't want you to be afraid of this card. Instead, embrace it. What can you shed? What can you let go so that you can begin again right as spring comes forward? So if you chose three, I know many people chose three, this is a good card. What can you let go of? Refresh the energy. And Wednesday, when that new moon comes in, you're going to feel so much better. All right? So this is all about that birth, rebirth, transformation energy. So don't let it scare you. All right? But open up and know that you can transform your energy. We all can do that, and so can you. All right? So again, just to kind of refresh uh, the energy of what we have going on, we have the Emperor card, which I dropped. We have the Emperor card, which reminds us... Whoop, which reminds us to be strong, to know that sometimes it takes a little bit of working hard. We may have some injuries, some battle to, that we've been through, and that's okay. Stand strong. Bring in the sun energy. That's a little bit more of that masculine energy. Learn from those hurts so that you can grow. And the way that you do that, know you're protected all around you. You've got all the energy you need. You've got all the elements of the universe circling you. Feel that energy coming in for you. Connect with others. You don't have to do this alone. Connect with others and build that energy. Keep doing what you're doing. Take a step back. Renew, refresh, review all that you've done because you are being successful in what you're doing. And then rebirth. Transform. Spring is coming. Shed those old skins. Shed those old layers. And in, in any aspect that you can. All right? Declutter, remove, release, let go. 
But know there is a deeper part as you do this work. You have to do the work. You have to do the practice that you can open up to in your life. Very good. Great cards for this week. Great cards for focusing on what we have. Definitely. All right, just a few announcements. If you are in the Birmingham area and would like to learn more about the wild unknown, all right, Saturday I'm doing a pop-up at Beacon Yoga over here in Birmingham. I'm going to be doing readings from 2 to 6. Let me know if you'd like one. We'll put you on the list, a dollar a minute, just for fun, and also just to help you understand what this new moon, this new spring energy is going to come for you. And then we'll talk about the class coming up in April to learn more about how to read the cards. Definitely coming up at Beacon Yoga. All right. I do have a Reiki 1 coming up on March 23rd at Birmingham Yoga in my studio, Natural Forces Studio. If you'd like to learn Reiki, what a great time. Everything we're talking about, learn a new spiritual tool. It's a perfect time to learn that as well. You can find that on my website, naturalforcesstudio.com. I would love to guide you through this process of knowing more about your spirituality, knowing about your intuition. And this turbulent time, as we're going to see this week, this month coming up, having a practice, having the tools is so important. So I would love to guide you through that quicker. I'm offering some discovery sessions. You can reach out through this and let me know. Click on the link. I have a guide. Setting up a spiritual practice, really important. But if you'd like some private mentoring and really get to it a little quicker than trying to do it on your own, reach out. I would really love to invite you into my program and help you with that. Having a spiritual practice again in this overwhelmingly crazy time is really important for our own health, wellness, and mental stability. All right, so thanks for joining me. I'm sorry I was late, but I really wanted to put this out into the world, an important week this week to let go to refresh your energy as we open up to the new moon. Come into the circle, Empowered Spirit Circle. Wednesday, I'll be doing a meditation at 12 noon to help